Hello. When is it okay to spoil your child? And when is it okay to accept how they turned out? Now, I watched uh, Brat Loves Judy last night, so I'm basing my thought process on that. I also know to spare the rod is to spoil the child, but it's also important to guide the child as academically as possible from as early as pre-K by reading to them and getting them the best education possible, which is not always private school, but parents should assist in their child's education. And then you're giving them a direction to go. Uh, they're getting awards and accolades academically throughout school. Perhaps they're gonna get uh, scholarships and acceptance from different colleges and universities. And just by communicating with their friends and other college cohorts, they would decide what they want to do. And they would know, probably in college and middle school, what they're good at when a teacher says, oh, you wrote this very well. I see this is something you're very good at. This is your gift. Or they'll know, hey, I've been great at math since ninth grade. I take in all of uh, the college uh, classes I could take to the point when I get to college or the university, I am taking trigonometry. So they know they can be an accountant, an architect. Uh, they know whether they could be a doctor or a lawyer. They know whether they could be a teacher or some other uh, profession. And I'm not saying, you know, Judy didn't do the best that she could because Judy will tell you that her parent put her out and she had to sink or fly and she flew. She flew all the way to this business, Kaleidoscope, that's in all these different uh, department stores and is obviously making her a lot of money. And, and she appears to enjoy spending it and sharing it with the love of her life, her wife, our beloved rapper, Brett. But now your grown daughter with the baby is watching this, not just on television, but watching the two of you together and thinking, now she got two rings. Uh, and I believe those rings cost a whole bunch of money, but you can't understand, I'm not sure uh, what I wanna do. And and I need you to farm this for me. And guess what? It's probably only, only gonna cost you 20,000 making that number up so our children are looking toward us for support and encouragement and I don't know how far you should go when you have the means and obviously I don't yet I don't see anything wrong with giving them a trust fund uh, if they're after they graduate from college because you want them to go if they can uh, especially after they told, told you what they're interested in and what you think they're capable of. It's nothing wrong with helping them out. I mean, as far as even where they live and let them be able to afford it once you walk away, uh, what vehicle they drive. Uh, and I'm not saying Judy is just leaving her out there by herself, but you get the impression that she really loves Brad and Brad, we know, makes her own money, earns her own money, had her own money. But she shares a lot with the love of her life. So the question maybe should be, shoot, and that's another video. How much should you share with the love of your life? I mean, your daughter and son will be your children forever. There's a common saying, your best friend, if it's truly a best friend, would be around when that guy or that husband or boyfriend is gone. So I'm just wondering, how much should you share monetarily with your children when it's enough enough? I don't have an answer for that. And as a mother, I'm pretty sure, because that's how I feel about my children, I give you what I have to help you get your start 
and I help you get settled so you can take over. And my prayers will always be with you to guide you and protect you, that God may do that for you. Okay, I would like for everyone, of course, to like and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next video. Have a great day and even better life. Signing off. Teach Jackie. Peace.